as a 29 year old woman who has never really been in a relationship all throughout my 20s like I was with my baby daddy in the beginning of my 20s but after we had our baby we weren't together anymore so ever since then y'all I was I've been out in the field right and I'm here to tell y'all what I have learned fuck them niggas I, I promise you fuck them Man, listen, I usually like to wait at least a minute and a half, at least two minutes to get into the video. But the hypocritical nature and the contradictions is just, it's off the charts already. Sheesh. As a person that's never been in a real relationship, but I got pregnant and I got kids and my baby daddies, but I'm not even 30 years old and fuck these niggas already. And she giving advice. She's giving relationship advice from a woman that is a single baby mama. You know me. I'm going to give credit to the content creator in the description. And I'm going to link to whatever it is that's happening. But this is crazy, bro. These women have literally lost their minds. And somebody gave them a camera phone and said, upload it to TikTok. And it'd be women in the comments supporting it. Not holding them accountable, but supporting it. I'll let it play out, bro. I got to hear the rest of this. Them niggas, forget about them niggas existing. If you're younger than me, I'm 29. If you're younger than me, fuck them niggas. Ignore those niggas. Them niggas don't have nothing for you. Promise you, they don't have nothing. The key to having your way in your 20s is to completely focus on yourself. I know y'all hear that all the time, but I'm really here to tell you that's really how that works. You, and and it, and it, it, it's, it works for all men. Rich men, poor men, everybody in between. Focus on yourself. They love. I guess that counts for me too, right? <laughs> As I can tell you, my chick is over there in the kitchen whipping up, water whipping, right? Literally, bro. Water whipping right now. I ain't even gonna cap. And she like, oh man, I need to be quiet so that you can do the video. And I got married when I was 22 years old. I've been married for 20 years. Take advice from her though. Let's 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 listen to her advice. They love when you're not paying them no attention. They love when they have to fight for your attention. So if you're really looking for a man, I'm not really looking for no man, so I just be out here playing. But if you're really looking for a man, the best thing you can do is to become the best version of yourself. And in the process of becoming the best version of yourself, you will attract the best version of somebody else. I promise you, that's how that shit go. So if you feel like you're not having all of y'all motherfuckers that be on here complaining about, oh, I'm single, I'm single. That's because you need to go work on yourself. You are the problem. You're not able to have discernment and good judgment and character because that's not that you're not your best self yet. Talking about the, this is from the single. Listen, look at the top. Ignore them. Date for fun, not for love. That's the name of the caption that's at the top. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be an April Fool's joke, bro. I promise you. I promise you I'm not lying to you. In 2024, I've opted out of dating in general because clearly something didn't work in my 20s, right? Something, I never, I didn't meet no man that was like husband material. Like I was like, oh my God, this man, like really, yeah. Like I. But you had a chill, you had a kid by him, right? I see me and him going the, the you know, distance. No, you want to know why? Because I was caught up on stupid shit. Ever since I have been completely focusing on myself, and another thing I will tell y'all is a woman exchanging energy with the wrong men, and you know what I mean when I say exchanging energy. Stop doing it. Just completely cut it out because I'm trying to tell you, they drain you. They will drain you of your beauty. They will drain you of your spirit. Bad men will do that to you. So it's just best keep the kitty to yourself. Go read a book, do a puzzle, and mind your business. I promise you, your skin is going to look better. You're going to be doing things that make a healthier you. Stop worrying about the men. When you get to this age, 29, 30, I'm preparing from this year. I call myself preparing for my 30s. When you get to this age, you don't have time for that shit. Them bitches that are going out trying to find niggas in the club every week, they are miserable because there ain't nothing in the club. Ain't no love at the club. They're miserable. Don't be like that. You want to be a blessed, happy, stress-free woman? I'm trying to tell you, ignore these. Listen, man, listen. Stop taking advice from these chicks and these hyenas, bro. 
Listen, you never going to sit here and try to convince us to negotiate for used box. Oh, put the box up. Box that a kid that never came out of, one or two. I don't know how many kids. One is enough. Baby daddies. <laughs> Christ, bro. I mean, I can I could slice this so many different ways. But let me just start off by saying this, y'all. Never be a step crash dummy. Never be a step crash dummy. If you are a guy that's on top of your game and taking care of business and making the sacrifices and on top of things and running it up and getting rich and being successful and, you know, you went to school and you getting educated and you didn't acquire a bunch of student loans or you paid off your student loans or you paid off your student debt or you paid off whatever credit cards that you had and paid off your car and you leveling up and you don't know, but you're going to find out that the greatest version of you is further down the line and you don't even get to the top of your earning potential until you in your late 50s, early 60s. Yes, yes, yes. You have a world ahead of you. Listen, I'm going to show you something. You see out there? Let me show you out there. You see all of that out there? All of that, that world right there? That's your world. That whole city all around, that whole skyline. I'm looking at Canada with the river going in between the city and Canada. That's your world right there. And you want to give it up in order to take care of another man's kids or put yourself under duress for a woman that don't even care nothing about you and calling y'all that started off and said, fuck these niggas. That's how she started it off. Because she speak with forked tongues. She's, she's calling herself, giving herself or giving women an opportunity to continue to grow by giving them some level of advice as a woman that hasn't even matured into her 30s has zero results. But then at the same time, the caption says, ignore them, date for fun, not for love. Date for fun, open yourself up to the spirits, interact on a daily basis, don't take anything serious. How can you have both? How can you have both? How can you ignore them, but then at the same time date for fun? What do you think is going to happen? What do you think is going to happen? Ladies, ladies, I know that y'all like to support each other. I know that y'all rocking out on sister code. I know that y'all think y'all know what y'all talking about on a regular basis. I'm trying to tell you, you have to be careful of the advice that you take in from the different people. And it doesn't matter what they look like. The only thing that matters is the results. God said you will know them by their fruit. This is why you can't have 20-year-old life coaches. This is why you can't have 30-year-old life coaches. Because they don't know what they're talking about. And so you're going to go out here and then justify them doing the things that they're going to do to you by allowing for them to continue to perpetuate bad behavior. And they think that this is cool. They genuinely think that this is cool. Look, man, I'm curious as to what y'all got to got to say. Uh, make sure y'all listen to the Q show tonight and tap into the Millionaire Morning Show in the morning. Uh, it's going to be awesome. It's absolutely going to be awesome. I'm excited uh, to continue to cook up. I'm excited. I'm rested. I'm feeling good. And uh, I got good drink over here, a lot of good drink. And so we're going we gonna to pour up and we're going to have a good time tonight. All right. Um, Patreon. For best time to join the Patreon is the beginning of the month. Uh, we 6K strong inside of the Patreon, so uh, this ain't no fluke. This is real life. People swear by it. They live by it. We got the meetups coming soon, and that's going to absolutely be awesome, so I'm looking forward to tapping into y'all city. Uh, I'm going to read the comments shortly. I love y'all. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Be careful, man.